Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 100 anime of all time. For this list, we're tackling the big one, diving right into the heart of otaku culture and ascertaining what we believe to be the best of the best when it comes to the definitive anime that stand as testament to the artistry of the medium. We're taking into consideration their impact on the industry, the strength of their storytelling, unique visual flair, and of course, their amazing characters. Keep in mind in certain cases we'll be counting whole franchises as one entry. We'll also be focusing on just series, so no movies today. And of course, if there's an anime list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AshJBo and let me know. But for now, here goes. Number 100, Astra Lost in Space. It was supposed to be a regular camping trip, and then it turned into a mission of interstellar survival. <laughs> After inexplicably being sent halfway across the galaxy, six young strangers from all walks of life find their fates bound as they seek refuge on a lone spaceship, Astra. Canada. Oh. Where their only hope of returning home involves charting a potentially lethal course from planet to planet. While there's certainly a sense of foreboding, especially as the grander narrative slowly reveals itself, where this star jumper of a series really excelled was in the sense of exploration and the camaraderie of its misfit crew. Newcomers and Trekkies alike eat your hearts out. <laughs> Number 99, Darker Than Black. As suggested, this anime adopts a much more visceral take when it comes to random individuals being imbued with godlike power. Following a spatial anomaly that leaves the world's governmental structures in shambles, a new clandestine organization known as the Syndicates assumes control, unleashing their various contractors to commit espionage and assassination for the sake of their new peace. I guess you should have listened to your buddy. It's all about style with this one, especially with a merciless character like the Black Reaper leading the charge. So much so that it even makes the Villain of the Week format feel fresh. <laughs> Season 2 may not quite hit the mark, but otherwise this is a great series. How? How did you... Number 98, Death Parade. What if securing a happily ever after in the next life demanded you play a series of challenges with your soul on the line, where every victory and every loss revealed just what kind of person you truly were? Welcome to the Quindecan Bar, where painful memories and existential crises are on the house. <laughs> While the immortal arbiters that operate the drinking establishment sitting on the edge of limbo have their own quirks, the real draw here is how every pocket of human regret is explored and brought to the surface via the death games. <laughs> Hindsight truly is the most bitter of cocktails, and Deckham and company are more than eager to serve it up. Number 97, The Big O. Aesthetics inspired by 90s Western animation such as Batman. A leading man who carries himself with the swagger and inner turmoil you'd expect out of 007. The bouncers at this club are sure some surly characters. Please don't create a fuss, Mr. Smith. A giant robot that allows him to defend a city shrouded in mystery, corruption, and other equally massive robots. <laughs> But all 
all that together and what have you got? One of the most unique mecha series to date. It may wear its influences on its sleeve, but it does so with such panache that it's impossible to find Roger Smith or the Big O derivative, especially when they're this good at punching down other robos in citywide slugfests. This ends it once and for all! Number 96, My Dress Up Darling. Romance isn't dead, it's nerdier and sexier than ever. Introverted golden boy Gojo finds his simple life of painting Hina dolls spun on its head when he encounters the high-spirited Marin as well as her obsession for all things cosplay. And just like that, we have our tag team partnership, with Gojo's tailoring skill paired against Marin's photogenic features, allowing them to perfectly replicate characters and their costume from all otaku walks of life. <laughs> And of course, their newfound hobby is just the tipping point as their relationship quickly starts to build into something far more potent than either expected. How can something be so lewd and yet so wholesome at the same time? Number 95, Baki. Prepare yourselves because this muscle-bound martial artist doesn't do anything by half measure, whether it be training his body to unparalleled degrees or wasting the wackiest of foes in the weirdest of ways. Baki may seem like just another typical testosterone-fueled brawler, but its extreme narrative exaggeration partnered with real-life characters make it anything but. Yume. Despite being supposedly human, these guys can stop earthquakes with their bare hands, tear apart prehistoric elephants, and wipe out death row convicts with nothing but pure muscle. Also, Muhammad Ali is in it too, because of course he is. Number 94, Dororo. Number 93, Dorara Ra. <laughs> Number 92, Overlord. Number 91, Fire Force. Number 90, Outlaw Star. As far as retro sci-fi anime goes, this is up there as one of the best. Why? Because much like its smooth-talking, caster-shell-wielding commander, Outlaw Star oozes charm. Well, well. What a shock. I never thought I'd see the day that you'd be cheering me on. On the hunt for a treasure located in the void of space, Gene Starwind and his motley crew of mismatched basket cases find themselves getting into all kinds of trouble, both the comedic and tragic kind. EXACTLY WHAT THE HELL I'D LIKE TO KNOW! <laughs> Honestly, the series has aged like fine wine, not only due to having quite possibly the best Hot Springs episode of all time, but for capturing that earnest sense of adventure that you can only find in a good old-fashioned space opera. Damn it! how the hell could we break down in the middle of nowhere like this? Because we keep cutting corners on our maintenance bills. Number 89, Assassination Classroom. Number 88, my teen romantic comedy Snafu. So, 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 so,
最初はちょっとびっくりしたし。No.87、Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai。今日見たことは忘れなさい。それと、金輪際、私に関わらないように。No.86、Oran High School Host Club。Remember, you're welcome to visit us in Music Room 3 whenever you'd like to. The Oran House Club will be waiting for you. And we want to thank you. From the bottom of our hearts. Number 85, Fooly Cooly. From the moment the cynical Nauta got his cranium bashed in via guitar by a hyperactive hotshot driving a Vespa, this anime refuses to slow down. But that's part and parcel when it comes to Haruko, a galactic patrolman seeking out a famed space pirate who isn't afraid to break a few rules and mess up a few lives to get what she wants. <laughs> Her rodeo of chaos may be brief, but it makes for a great watch, especially as all hell breaks loose towards the end of her little quest. Guitar bazookas will never not be awesome. Number 84, Inuyasha. Back last way! Number 83, Golden Kamui. Number 82, Anohana, the flower we saw that day. Number 81, Kill the Kill. Number 80, Tomorrow's Joe. It wholly resonated with Japanese masses at a time where the country was finally recuperating following the pains of the Second World War. It served as inspiration for a multitude of incredible sports anime. And even when left to stand on its own legs, Joe's bounce as a boxer still holds up incredibly well. Oh, this punch! This is this Going from a runt with nothing to his name all the way to a contender for the title of champion, Joe may not have the best visuals by modern standards, as expected, but his bottomless fighting spirit can still be felt with every punch thrown, and that's always captivating. Got a sports anime you adore? Chances are Joe had a hand in making it happen. Number 79, Mononoke. Number 78, Serial Experiments Lane. Number 77, Nishijo. Number 76, Mushishi. I'm trapped. I can't get out. Now, this is going to be a problem. Number 75, Black Lagoon. There are no heroes here, just a gaggle of criminals trying to make a living. More often than not, by shooting up other criminals, stealing their stuff, and making a profit of their own. This is where Revy thrives. As an eagle eyed marksman and overall beast of a woman, she's very much the muscle for Lagoon Company, ensuring bodies get dropped while her people get in and out. From there, the series goes from one violent caper to the next grenade wielding maid and vampire murder twins included. If you're in the mood for a maelstrom of gunfire and a badass leading lady who swears like a sailor, head on over to Rowanapur.
Number 74, Vivi, Fluorite Eyes Song. <laughs> Number 73, Slam Dunk. Number 72, Revolutionary Girl Utena. Number 71, Sailor Moon Franchise. Number 70, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Ask any fan what the most oversaturated anime genre of the last few years was, and without a doubt they'll say isekai. Everywhere you looked, there was a new idiot getting hit by Truckkun and ending up in a fancy world. And yet, there were a few that managed to rise up as the creme de la creme, including this happy-go-lucky ball of slime. <coughs> Going from salaryman to sentient slime, Rimuru's life quickly shifts to that of an apex predator, as his new body allows him to absorb and replicate whatever enters his squishy domain. Unique skill. Yes! It doesn't take long for him to become the ruler of his own nation, with an ever-increasing list of killer abilities to his name. Building up an empire has never been so delightful to watch. Number 69, Trigun. Number 68, Bunny Drop. Umayo. Number 67, Samurai Shampoo. Hey, are you one of those so called badasses? Number 66, Devil Man Crybaby. <laughs> Number 65, Kuroko's Basketball. Whether you're a diehard fan of the sports or don't even know what an alley oop is, Kuroko's got you covered because his anime takes the thrill of the game whilst injecting a fresh batch of shonen goodness straight to its core. The results? Crazy basketball matches with athleticism that borders on the superheroic. <laughs> As Kuroko and his new team set out to prove their mettle, their skills are put to the test as they go up against the godly skills of the Generation of Miracles, aka Kuroko's former teammates. It's certainly not without its moments of levity, but when you see one of those boys enter the zone, you know it's about to go down. <laughs> Number 64, Bungo Stray Dogs. Number 63, Toradora. Oh, I see, the palm thing. <laughs> Yep, that's a perfect name for her. Number 62, 86. <laughs> Number 61, Gunbuster. <laughs> Number 
Number 60, Hyoka. Forced into the classics club, Oreki's dashed dreams of spending his high school years in anonymity turns out to be a begrudging blessing in disguise when he encounters the symbol of purity that is Chitanda. Through her endless curiosity and the plethora of small-scale mysteries the club finds itself tackling, Oreki's worldview slowly starts to shift, especially when the prospect of a potential romance starts to bloom. While certainly not afraid to lean towards the cheesy side of adolescent drama, the self-contained stories are still as sweet as can be. Did we mention the visuals are ambrosial? Number 59, Fruits Baskets. Number 58, Psychopaths. Number 57, A Place Further Than the Universe. Number 56, The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Number 55, Great Teacher Onizuka. Got a class of unruly kids that are directionless in life and in dire need of guidance? Then there's only one teacher for the job, a former gangster who's only in it to get himself laid. While at first glance, Onizuka seems like the last person qualified to be given any kind of authority, it turns out his wacky and often extreme methods are exactly what his class needs in order to pull themselves out of their respective slumps. <laughs> A tad vulgar, hysterically funny, and oddly cathartic, Onizuka's term as an educator is not one to be dropped. Great. Number 54, Bakano. <laughs> really think we're gonna be that rich, Isaac? But of course! Oh, it's gonna be so incredible! Number 53, Clanad Franchise. You're not running today, Daddy? Nope, I'm gonna stay right here with you all day long. Number 52, The Tatami Galaxy. Number 51, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Number 50, Bleach. It may not have broken new ground with its take on a young punk facing the threats of the afterlife with nothing but a sword and a cocky attitude, but Bleach's time as one of the big three remains special for so many fans for a variety of reasons. It gave us a now beloved lead in the form of Ichigo, whose trials as a substitute Shinigami led him to face down a multitude of fearsome foes that have each become iconic in their own way. Not to mention the Soul Society rescue arc is considered one of the most satisfyingly constructed and executed pieces of shonen anime to this day. You can understand why fans were chomping at the bits for the final arc, Thousand Year Blood War. Number 49, Haikyuu. Number 48, My Hero Academia. Number 47, Ruroni Kenshin. 
危険三つるぎ流クズ流ナンバー46リゼロスターティングライフインアナザーワールドなんだよつくしょうまた全部リセットかよエミリアとのあの約束もナンバー45 Welcome to the NHK There's no getting around just how tough life can be and in our lowest moments it's easy to shift the blame onto something else for all that's gone wrong At age 22 my struggle begins I've been a recluse for over three years now. Actually, in a few months, it'll be four years. Enter Sato, a hardcore recluse who has convinced himself the trappings of his life all stem from a sinister corporation named the NHK, only to find himself entering a contract with the well intentioned yet equally damaged Nakahara, who promises to help alleviate his shut in psyche. You might find it hard to believe, but I've actually known about you for a long time. The truth is, I've come here tonight to rescue you, Sato. <sighs> While raw subjects such as anxiety, depression, isolation, and the dark side of Japanese subcultures are frequently touched upon, there's just enough intrigue and humor, especially when it comes to Sato's endless conspiracy theories, to keep this series from completely becoming a black hole of misery. Were you afraid because you had to venture into the outside world? Because you're a recluse? <sighs> Number 44, March comes in like a lion. <laughs> Number 43, Ping Pong the Animation. <laughs> Number 42, Konosuba. Number 41, Odd Taxi. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Number 40, Erased. A desperate attempt to prevent his mother's murder suddenly becomes a second chance to save the lives of numerous children when Satoru finds himself traveling back into the body of his younger self years prior. A brilliant mystery thriller, Satoru's dogged pursuit of the true culprit combined with the tragic circumstances surrounding his friend Kaio makes for some truly uncomfortable viewing. Yet it's handled in such an earnest way it's impossible to look away from. It's the best who done it to enter the anime scene in years, and as of now, very little can stop it. Number 39, Ranking of Kings. <laughs> Number 38, Higurashi When They Cry franchise. <laughs> Number 37, Show Again Roku Rakugo Shinju. Number 36, Laid Back Camp. Number 35, Helsing Ultimate. How does one go about stopping crazy Catholics, Nazi vampires, and everything else that goes bump in the night? Call in a gun wielding vampire, send him on his way, and watch the body count start to pile up.
a much pulpier rendition of the gothic bloodsuckers we've come to know and love, Helsing is nonetheless a savage depiction of just how violent both mortals and beasts can be when let off the leash. In service to a secret organization that combats the supernatural for queen and country, OG vampire Alucard is all too happy to satisfy his thirst in the name of a noble cause turning his sadistic tendencies towards evils greater than himself. What else can we say other than it's a bloody good time? Number 34, Jujutsu Kaisen. Number 33, Vinland Saga. <laughs> Number 32, Mob Psycho 100. Number 31, Spy Family. Number 30, Naruto Franchise. He may not exactly be stealthy, but this knuckle-headed ninja more than earned his accolades as one of Shonen Jump's big three for a time, all thanks to its central shinobi who, despite being dealt the shortest of hands, found a way to rise up above all manner of obstacles and enemies to prove his worth. Say what you will about the filler, shipping wars, and occasional narrative dips, Naruto's growth from brat to hero of the leaf remains a standout. Though it certainly helps that he's held up by a truly incredible cast of supporting characters, who in turn deliver some mind-boggling jutsu-filled showdowns, a trait that has long continued even as his son Boruto has taken over as the lead. Number 29, Violet Evergarden. <laughs> Number 28, Hajime no Ippo. <laughs> Number 27, One Punch Man. <laughs> Number 26, Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. Number 25, Madoka Magica. Quite possibly the Uro Butcher's greatest accomplishments, this beautiful yet harrowing subversion of the magical girl genre taught us to never trust an anime by its frilly cover. What starts as a light-hearted yet action-packed romp, practically glazed with the typical moe trimmings, takes the sharpest of turns when Madoka and her fellow magical girl hopefuls are faced with the grim reality that life is not all sparkles and even adorable superpowered cinnamon rolls must make sacrifices in order to make their wishes come true. Wishes that may or may not be all they're shaped up to be. Cute anime girls committing vicious acts may be more commonplace nowadays, but among them, Madoka is the unequivocal queen.
Number 24, Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. Number 23, Yu Yu Hakusho. Number 22, Berserk. I'll let you live so you can take a message to your master for me. Tell him the Black Swordsman has come. Number 21, Made in Abyss. Number 20, Kaiji. Gambling anime are a dime a dozen these days, but none have ever been able to overshadow the antics of this eternally unlucky loser. After a few bad choices, hapless Kaiji finds himself plunged into astronomical debt, and the only way out seems to be by risking life and limb in death games for the entertainment of the wealthy and twisted. <laughs> Kaiji may be a walking cautionary tale when it comes to handling finances, but seeing him think his way out of one horrific gamble after another is compelling all the same. <laughs> Just don't expect to look at a pachinko machine the same way again. <laughs> Number 19, Monster. For every creature, demon, and demigod that has occupied the mantle of villain across the anime mainstream, few can hope to top the sheer malevolence that is Johann Liebert. Stop it! You can't just go around killing! Why not? Following a doctor's life-altering decision to save a young boy instead of a public figure, I have... I have a surgery to perform in the other room. He unknowingly unleashes Johan onto the world, a man so charismatic yet so absent of empathy that all it takes is a single conversation to bring someone to the darkest places of their minds. Well, Richard, how about a drink? Thus, we have a character-driven psychological thriller, one that excruciatingly explores human nature and what a good man is willing to do to stop a monster that he unwittingly created. Number 18, Fate Franchise. Granted, should you choose to enter this wildest of labyrinth, prepare to be bombarded with an ever-increasing number of spin-offs, alternative tales, prequels, and just about every kind of branching story you can imagine. But we'd say it's still worth it. Whether it's Fate Zero, Unlimited Bladeworks, or the Heaven's Feel movies, the portrayals of the Holy Grail War are always thrilling to behold, especially with Ufo Table's next level animation. Watching Saber brandish her blade and head into battle against other historical warriors just never gets old. <laughs> Number 17, Death Note. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, and nowhere is that better demonstrated than in the case of Kira. When the titular Death Note falls into his hands, genius student like Yagami decides it's his responsibility to purge the world of evil, and in doing so will become the god of the new world. <laughs> From that point on, what once may have been a noble intention becomes a spiral into obsession and hubris, all framed within a deadly contest of cat and mouse, as Light attempts to outwit his newfound nemesis, an intellectual equal in the form of the eccentric detective, L. <laughs> Number 16, Monogatari Franchise. 
Ready to go down the rabbit hole? Because once you take a glimpse of Araragi and his vampiric pursuits, there's no coming back. How best to quantify this fever dream of a franchise? Well, on the one side, you've got an incredibly needy young man dealing with the social and emotional turmoil of his harem while they also suffer under supernatural afflictions. <laughs> And on the other side, you've got a complete deconstruction of various anime tropes, complete with utterly gorgeous visuals that can elevate even the most awkward of scenes. It's safe to say Monogatari and its facets are truly one of a kind. <sighs> Number 15. Legend of the Galactic Heroes if there's a particular subgenre that anime has truly made their own, it's military sci-fi. But even among the annals of those gems, Legend of the Galactic Heroes stands tall. Shifting its focus towards strategy over explosions, the ongoing war between the Galactic Empire and the Free Planets Alliance plays out more like a game of chess, with millions of lives riding on each movement made. In between the interstellar firefights, the series brilliantly explores the various officers on both sides, delving into their beliefs, personal gripes with the war efforts, as well as the contrasting cultures of the monarchic empire and democratic alliance. Needless to say, this is a thinking man's war, not one fought from the cockpit of a giant robot. Ah, Number 14, Kaguya-sama Love is War Romantic comedies don't come more hilarious than this. What happens when two geniuses, who are both absurdly in love with each other, go head-to-head? -head? The best kind of calamity. <laughs> Alongside an equally adorable cast, the series follows Kaguya and Miyuki as they consistently endeavor, and fail, to get the other to confess their obvious crush first. It's a clash of wit, ego, and hapless innocence, with their ploys becoming increasingly bombastic. Though much like its two leads, the series has an elegance to it, knowing when to give the characters time to grow and even tackle painful issues in regards to loneliness and peer pressure. We honestly hope this lovey-dovey conflict never ends. Number 13, Gintama. How can one anime excel at being an outrageous, vulgar parody and also a visceral action fest at the same time? Well, when it comes to odd jobs gin, all things are possible. Set in a world where feudal Japan has since been overtaken by aliens, a former samurai and his ragtag group of equally dynamic weirdos take on whatever jumps they can get to scrap on by. It's honestly impressive how an anime can juggle hard-hitting, character-driven drama drenched in brutal battle scenes, along with humor so crass it's borderline beautiful. <laughs> Number 12. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Franchise the meme, the phenomenon, the culture-spanning adaptation that proved once and for all that not only is everything a JoJo reference, but JoJo fever is never going to go away. For those that somehow avoided this phenomenon for the last decade, JoJo focuses on the dynasty of the colorful, captivating, and outrageously awesome Joestar family, who, with each iteration, take on some manner of new wickedness, eager to snuff out their bloodline. Stone free. 
You haven't lived until you've seen a fashionista use a psychic protection ghost to beat the stuffing out of a villain named after a western rock band. Araki, you mad lad. <laughs> Number 11. Mobile Suit Gundam Franchise The monumental debut of the RX-78 not only kicked off the Universal Century and the Golden Age of Mecha anime, but it also showed that, yes, you can indeed tell an unrelenting tale about war and its consequences whilst also leaning into the sci-fi side of things. Ever since, Gundam has continued to branch out, exploring multiple genres and expanding the gospel of giant robots. The original still stands tall as the GOAT, with the likes of Zeta and Unicorn serving as exquisite sequels. You could have attacked us anywhere! Why did you choose a city? Because it's war! Iron-Blooded Orphans is unrelenting with its darker tone, whereas Build Fighters is delightful even with its family-friendly attire. There truly is a mobile suit for every occasion. Number 10. Steins Gate. Time travel has never been so mesmerizing. Hmm? Oh? <laughs> Upon inexplicably discovering a way to leap between timelines via the best kind of pseudoscience, self-proclaimed mad scientist Okabe finds himself under threat by the shadiest of agencies. Not to mention the risk of a possible future where World War III wipes out everything. As thrilling as the time jumps are, what truly caused the escapades of this genius Junibyo to soar was the interpersonal play between himself and the compelling down-to-earth Kurisu. Love can indeed bloom on a battlefield, or in this case, a rundown lab between the most adorable of scientists. Number 9. Dragon Ball Franchise From its humble origins of a boy with a tail searching the globe for seven magical spheres that can bring about a wish-granting dragon, all the way to tournaments filled with gods and monsters, Set to decide the fate of the multiverse, Goku's journey has truly shaped an entire generation of fans. Whether you prefer the original Dragon Ball for its smaller scale charm, or the iconic battles and moments from Z's classic sagas, or you're all about Super and its bigger than life brawls, this franchise has something for every Shonen fan, even decades on. Don't bother pretending that Super Saiyans still don't get you hyped. <laughs> Number 8. Neon Genesis Evangelion – A series that changed the landscape of anime forever. <laughs> <laughs> On the surface, you've got anime's ultimate wimp stepping up to the plate, tackling his own traumas, as well as the threat of invading so-called angels. But beneath it all, it's an examination of how humanity is both beautiful, terrible, and ultimately doomed. Even if aliens that bring about Abrahamic apocalypses aren't your thing, Shinji, Asuka, and Rei's individual struggles will doubtlessly keep you invested right up to that mind mash of an ending. Number 7. One Piece Raise the flag and prepare to enter the new world, because this high sea sensation has remained consistently exceptional since its inception. Yeah! 
with the goal of becoming the King of Pirates, the adventures of Luffy and his Straw Hat crew has since become all-encompassing, with exceptional world-building, the craziest of action scenes, and interwoven with profound questions regarding the arguments on justice versus freedom. From Romance Dawn all the way to The Clash with Kaido, anime's greatest shanty has truly become the stuff of legends. <laughs> Number 6. Code Geass Witness the birth of anime's ultimate anti-hero. <laughs> Determined to overthrow his own family's brutal regime, Lelouch plots his own revolution under the guise of a masked anarchist now imbued with the mind-altering power of the Gios. <laughs> However, the path to peace is a slippery one, and before long, Lelouch's desire to amend the wrongs of the Britannian Empire becomes a bloody crusade that pushes him ever closer to becoming the very thing he despises. Throw in a solid supporting cast, unique incorporation of Mecha, and an unblinking look at the social divisions, and you've got yourself a riveting sci-fi symphony. <laughs> Number 5. Attack on Titan In a single bound, this anime went from an intriguing dark fantasy filled with steampunk soldiers fighting against giant, cannibalistic humanoids all the way to one of the most intrinsic, layered, and beautifully realized narratives in the medium. <laughs> Hold up in what appears to be humanity's last bastion, Eren and the Survey Corps risk everything against the innumerable Titans for both survival and revenge, only to discover there's a lot more to their foes than meets the eye, and both within and beyond the walls, their true enemies lie in wait. A true modern masterpiece, watching its plot unfill is a joy to behold, even if each new revelation is more horrifying than the last. <laughs> Number 4. Hunter x Hunter Both a trendsetter and transformer of the tropes we've come to love, Gon's decision to become a hunter in order to seek out his wayward father catapults himself and his newfound comrades into one vicious predicament after the next. With an ingenious power system, villains that continually subvert expectations, as well as a myriad of incredible battle sequences, this anime raised the bar for what a shonen should strive to be, with each arc serving as a golden example for all that followed. There are very few things that can top the culmination of the war with the Chimera Ants. Number 3. Gurren Lagan. Piercing the heaven with its drill and delivering onto us the most grandiose bombardment of sci-fi richness, this truly is the wildest of rides. It is completely without restraint, and that includes the willpower of its characters, the scale of its showdowns between galaxy-sized robots, and the size of Kamina's gonads. But that's what makes it so fun. <laughs> When you've got a feeble human resistance taking on a bestial armada, as well as the living embodiment of universal stagnation, 
You either go big or go home. And what could be bigger than Simon piloting the Tengen Topper Gurren Lagan in a robotic bout of fisticuffs for the sake of existence itself? Number 2 Cowboy Bebop Well, hello again, Space Cowboy. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. As much of a slick sci-fi as it is a neo-noir, the space-faring adventures of bounty hunter Spike Spiegel pretty much invented the rule of cool. The series plays out almost as a quasi-anthology, all held together by the contrasting yet equally endearing occupants of the Bebop crew, as they tackle everything from interstellar criminals to their own personal demons. Did any visitors show up looking for me? Helmed by an exquisite soundtrack, the journey shared by Spike and his circle of misfits is, and remains, well and truly timeless. Hey. What? You want to stop at the racetrack? Huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you, Faye? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood A single mistake robbed the Elric brothers of their bodies, and in their ensuing mission to reclaim what they lost, crafted a fantastical series that for many defined itself as the pinnacle of what anime could be. From its lore, commentary on war, and the cycle of revenge right down to the titular bond shared between Edward and Alphonse, the series truly excels. Whether you're looking for a slow burn of a shonen filled with epic action or a meditative story that reflects on all aspects of human failure, Full Metal Alchemist delivers on both in spades. Not at all. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.